Ah, the labyrinth of lost souls, with all their statues. Ah, what a puzzle. Um, no. This is a completely different location. This is the beta version of the crypt entrance. A few of these images have been circulating the archives, and as usual with all beta content, nothing is left in the final version except for a few screenshots. This image alone shows at least two forgotten concepts in the game. First of all, we have the mirror, which is currently unused in the game. It was probably used as part of a puzzle back then. And then, as you can see in the tooltips, we had a way system in the game. Apparently this one says that something is one kilogram. I highly doubt that the full statue only weighs one kilogram. Nonetheless, I have checked the script files of the game and there are only two distinctive values that you can set as an item's weight. The first value is zero, which renders the item weightless. And the second one is, well, one, and no other values are used. So what could we use this information apart from having items which are affected by gravity? Well, if you look at the manual of Arx Fatalis, then there's a section which says, use the environment, almost anything can be used as a weapon, and throwing tables, chairs, and indeed cutlery at an enemy can be an effective tactic. Which means, a feature that we only got in Dark Messiah, where we can throw furniture and stuff at enemies, was originally planned as a feature of Arx Fatalis. Imagine all the lovely features of Dark Messiah being present in Arx Fatalis when doing combat. What do we have today in the game? You can use swords in close combat, or you can do range damage with magic, and yes, technically there are bows and arrows, but who uses that? So there are not many options when it comes to fighting in arcs, and this would drastically improve the gameplay. Here's a different image from the same location, which actually shows that there were two statues, both seem to have the same hand position, hinting that they could have the mirror fitted. Just by looking at this image, you would imagine that the central object, which is fairly hidden away by that light, is actually some sort of tomb. But if you look at it from this direction, uh, ignoring that exploding fireball in the center, you can actually take a glimpse at what seems to be a door or a gate. Here we have this image from the ECTS press kit. And if you start outlining the lines, then you can see that this goes all the way into a separate room, probably. This was an earlier version of the crypts. Maybe back then there wasn't any different levels for crypts, but instead everything was just in one giant room with smaller puzzles. Who knows? For a second I would like to backtrack to the picture where we had the two statues standing in front simply because there's a relevant dialogue in the game, which is when you speak to Shaney visiting the city of Arx for the first time. Take a listen to this. Hello, strange man. I'm Shaney. Have you come to take me back? Ma and the guards are always telling me to stay out of here because things from the deeper levels can get in through the crypt, but... I like playing with the stone heroes. Tell me about the crypt, Shaney. Well, don't tell anyone. But one day, when the door wasn't shut properly, I went all the way down four levels. It was really scary. Okay, I have to go now. See you later. If you think about what Shaney just said, she mentions that she likes playing with the stone heroes. I highly doubt that she was able to move all the way down to the place where you have that like six or seven or even more statues in that circular room, simply because the whole place is rigged with booby traps. She mentions once that she went all the way down to the lower levels, but then again the sentence of she likes playing with the stone heroes, kinda implies that this happens regularly and not just once. So it seems like this is a cool artifact left over from this old design of the game. Moving on to this concept art that you can find on the bonus disc, this location here is the marketplace, 
And if you check this building or entrance of this building, then this is supposed to be the crypt entrance. And apparently it is nothing like the version that we have today. By looking at this final version of the crypt entrance, we can see that the gate is kind of similar to what we had in the earlier drawing. We have the circular window at the top. And also, if you check these two columns, then these can be a reference to the two statues standing before the entrance. Finally, here's a nice little detail for you all. When Shinkash gives you the runes for you to activate the teleports, then the runes are actually hidden on the top of this wall. So it's not dynamically spawned in, but instead just moved into the hands of Shinkash. I guess this is it, guys. I haven't managed to find any more information on this subject. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will catch you guys in the next episode of Arx Fatalis Beta Fest. See you guys then. Bye-bye.